Hey YouTube, just wanted to uh, thank you guys for all the views, questions, comments, tips. Um, got a few good, really good tips on uh, on uh, one, uh, one of the uh, the videos, and uh, do thank you guys for for uh, the comments and uh, likes and subscribers. So do thank you for that. Um, I'm just gonna open this filter up. As you can see, I used vice grips all right so um don't do this at home i don't want anyone to get hurt uh, this is a honda oem filter uh, one of the american ones i have a vice grip here just uh pop this open it was really easy i mean it was just uh a matter of just tilting the metal back so if I can put it back, basically just hook onto the, the rim. And the, the rim is rolled at the factory, obviously, and that's how it's put together. And um, basically just roll it back. And when you roll it back, go all the way around. Um, I know there's easier ways to do it, but I don't have any tin snips, so it took me about five minutes to do it. Uh, that's one of the gaskets, and let's see if I can actually pull this out. The oil filter is about, has about, uh, let's grab something. has about 6,000 kilometers on it from the 1.5T out of the CRV. And man, that's sort of hard to get out actually. Oh, there you go. As you can see, the oil is pretty dirty. Look at that. That's the bottom piece with the spring. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's the filter element. <coughs> Excuse me. I believe it's supposed to be a synthetic ele element, but I actually don't really know. It seems like a paper element to me. I don't want to make a mess, but uh, I mean, really, I'm just trying to see if I can find any metal. There's the core. huge mess or anything but I'm just gonna rip out one of these sections and show you guys the flutes I don't see any shiny stuff although there is one right there see that little shiny piece at least I know the oil filter is working either that it was me oh well, maybe it was hard to say What I might do is uh, go ahead and press this with my vise. I could press it and get all the oil out, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to pull this apart right here. See if I could see anything. Hmm. That's the outer edge. That's the inner side. 
I did run a few ounces of Marble Mystery Oil for a few hundred kilometers through this filter as well. With everything considered, I don't think I see anything suspect, but this seems to be a paper filter. I thought these new Honda filters are supposed to be synthetic elements. Well, maybe it is. It just seems like a paper fiber. You guys let me know what it is. Um, hmm. You guys can chime in and let me know. I'm no expert with uh, oil filters, but... Apparently the new filters, the you know the, the good ones anyway, are synthetic, right? Synthetic meaning it's not a paper element. Um, you know, uh, synthetic probably meaning some sort of polymer. This seems very, very plastic, I mean paper fibers. I work with paper a lot and this seems like it's paper, but I could be wrong because maybe it's woven like paper and it comes apart like paper. Sure does feel like paper, just thick paper element. I don't really see anything shiny or Suspect. The other side seems even cleaner. My Civic is going to be um, coming up for oil change in a few thousand kilometers. So I'll, I'll do this again and maybe I'll do it uh, with tin snips. It'll be a cleaner cut uh, and then take the time to actually squeeze everything out and show you guys, but I just, yeah, I mean, it looks fine. Uh, 6,000 kilometers, so it's not much at all. Um, and uh, that's what, uh, where I'm at. Got a little bit of oil in my hands, yuck. I'm gonna be throwing that away. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, do thank you guys again for all the, the views. Um, I'm gonna be continuing doing these videos and uh gonna start to introduce other types of videos as well um uh but uh um it's gonna be a little bit more off topic to the, to the car stuff because uh, i want to you know diversify a little bit but um i did want to mention to you guys that um uh some of the things that i've been doing to mitigate this uh fuel dilution um, is on the earlier videos, right? So I got a lot of people sort of um, commenting and uh, not watching the previous videos. But long story short is I have three things I'm doing right now uh, to have um, mitigated the fuel dilution so far. I'm getting um, next to no fuel dilution because I drained my oil and I had exactly 3.5 liters come out of the drain uh, of the oil. I mean, I can go and test the oil at Blackstone Laboratories, but uh, I'm in Canada, so it's probably really expensive to send it over there. Uh, and I don't really know any local ones that uh, do that type of um, oil oil analysis. Uh, so you guys let me know if there's one uh, available. But um, currently, um, I am turning off my auto stop start the AIS system, auto idle stop, that's always off on both cars. The other thing I'm doing is I'm actively sort of monitoring, you know, like short trips. I try not to do that. Uh, we have a tandem, is it called tandem garage? So one car is behind the other car. So I we really try just to use the CRV the most of the times. And the, the Civic just sort of sits and then once a week, at least I do a longer trip. So I'm trying not to take too many short trips, meaning sort of just start the car, move it, and then turn it off, right? And then move the other car out and, you know, just trying to stop doing that, right? So that's, that. I will say that I've uh, I've changed my, like, just those type of small habits. And then 
Um, um, so auto stop start. Second is actually high octane fuel. So I've been using 93 octane most of the times. I'm gonna switch down to 91 um, and see what happens. I don't really wanna, you know, uh, st stay with 93. The other thing is that uh, uh, the reason why I don't really wanna go with 93 and go down to 91 is because the higher octane fuels may contain more ethanol and ethanol is not really as you guys may know is not really great for uh combustion chamber the uh burning of the fuel is is um is not as clean but i don't really want to get into that too much so um yeah so i'm going with high octane fuel 91 to 93 and then the third thing is uh using some um injection cleaners I've been using dur lube injection cleaner, upper lube uh, cylinder or upper cylinder lube lubricant. Uh, so it's a fuel additive and been using marble mystery oil and uh, what's that third one? It'll be sea foam. Uh, one of you guys actually mentioned to use the PEA based um, gum out uh, um, cleaner. So I have purchased a bottle just going to show that to you. Right here. So as you can see, I've put in about half of it into the CRV today. Uh, this is good to uh, treat 90 gallons. Is it 90 gallons? How many gallons? But anyways... Uh, I did the calculations. The The CRV is a small tank. It's like 45 liters or so or less. And uh, this treats uh, up to 90 liters, actually. I think I read somewhere here. So up to 95 liters. See that? So 95 liters. And obviously the CRV and the Civic is like 40 liters, 40 something liters. So half of this will treat the tank. And um, as you guys know, I'm sort of religiously putting it in every uh other tank right so it's pretty often so i don't really want to use too much either right in case it does like gum up something uh so anyways yeah so i'm gonna i'll let you guys know how this one works uh this one has the pea um uh chemical in there so um yeah i'll keep you guys updated and uh go from there it's carbon cleaner carbon clear yeah, so those are uh, three things that I've been using for mitigation. And um, watch my previous videos on on uh, on all the details. And then we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day and take care.